I think everybody knows that 10 years ago was different, completely different. That we are in the world that you, I mean, we never imagined, right? 10 years, things changed a lot. A lot of things changed. And next 10 years, maybe things change even more. The rate of changes of the things might accelerate. Even if it stays same, you know, we're gonna be somewhere we can't even imagine right now. Things are gonna change. We're gonna be in a different world. Yet, most of us live today like nothing's gonna be changed. That we're gonna live forever like we're living today. And that's a completely mistake if you realize because we're not gonna be as adapted as we could to the new future. And you know, I think if we can adapt better to the changes, if we pay attention to the changes, what's happening today and tomorrow and then to the future, then I think we have a better chance to be happier, to have happier life, to have something that we desire, uh, you know, in the situation, uh, we are more accessible to what we want. But if we fail to be adopted, the chances are we're going to struggle. We don't want to be old people. I have nothing about, you know, old people being old. Uh, in terms of, because the age doesn't count, right? It's not something that matters. Uh, I feel the youngest of entire my life. I feel healthiest and I feel strongest. I feel much younger than I used to be. So age doesn't matter. So what it matter is um, really try to optimize our life. And we gotta be strong mentally, physically, um, and we need to achieve, we need to have purpose, and we need to achieve the purpose into reality. And it takes time, and things are changing. So the plan that you could make today has to be adapted to the changes, to the changes that are coming. So it really a matter of mindset. And we have to invest in ourselves because today if you are willing everything is available for us all the knowledges and all the uh, training all the opportunities to be participating to be participated and we could do anything it just that our mind need to decide to take on actions. And once we get it, whether it's paid or unpaid, there are millions of opportunities and we gotta invest into ourselves. Education had been an investment for me. Because of my parents, because of the family I was grown up, and because of the uh, culture I was in, education had been an investment. And 
Now, you know, more than ever, I take this serious. I invest into myself because at the end of the day, your mind, your body, your soul, the healthy um, you really counts. That's the value that we can bring into this world. So even like, you know, talking about wealth, financial wealth, you gotta be valuable person. And if you can't invest into yourself, how could you be valuable? It's all about mind. It's all about your heart. It's all about your attitude. It's all about your action that becomes value to other people. And the health is another thing. If you don't have a health, what, what does it mean to live or you know, being in this world. If you're sick, most of the time, it's your fault. Sometimes, it's a, you know, sometimes people think it's a destiny, but I think it's come back to all to us, whether we maintained our mental, physical health better, or worse, it's all about, it's all come back to our action. So the investment is super important. And it's something that you have to make it your habit. Every month, it's better to go falling places, whether it's next town or foreign country you gotta have a new experiences with the different places meeting different people interacting with uh, you know um somebody or something that you haven't done so so that you will have a creative fresh mind and you know upgrade our mindset is super important because our mindset or mind is unlimited to grow and in my opinion if you aren't growing you're technically dead if you aren't growing whether physically or mentally or spiritually you are technically dead and I'm gonna keep saying this until you know I become 100 years old or even older if I have opportunity to become be so the other thing is nobody knows how long you have left so it really means how old you are really doesn't matter how young you are is how much you have left in your life it's not about how long you've lived it's about how long you have left. But the thing is, nobody knows. Nobody knows that if I have a one day left or my grandma have 10 more years left. Hypothetically speaking, which is younger in that sense, right? My grandma is younger because my grandma has 10 more years and I have only one day left. So, you can't live today like, you know, it's gonna continue like this for another 10 years. In another 10 years, if we live more 10 more years, it's going to be, it's going to be completely different. And then we gotta be adaptable. Adaptable means we gotta have many perspectives, as many perspectives as possible. Because if we have choices or perspectives we can be better we can be adapted to the situation we can be adapted to consequences by the way consequences is what we need sometimes people think consequences as a negative word but the consequences is something that we want we want to take action and we desire we are a desire to accept the consequences because the consequences will, will 
is the equal to what we want. We're not going to get what we want if we don't have any consequences. And the consequences sometimes appear to be negative, really negative in short term. Even though it is a positive. We see the perspective is super important because we cannot have negative perspective to the short term consequences because in the long term, we're gonna have a great thing. But if we are afraid of that short term appeared consequences, then we're gonna stop taking actions. So the perspective, the variety of perspective we could have is super important. And in order to have those various perspectives, we need experiences. Without experiences, we're not going to expand our perspectives. So the life is about experiences, I say. And, you know, I wish I have known this, like, so that when I was younger, I was probably seeking more. I would have seeking, seeked more of the experience and that's something that you know uh we every one of us ought to seek right and especially today's age we are born in today's age we didn't we weren't born in 19th century or 18th century or 16th century where the world was more dangerous. Now, we have more opportunities, less risks. I mean, there are risks, of course, if you take an action, but the risk that we have is less deadlier than it used to be. So our psychology have to be updated but the psychology and the human evolution happens, occurs so slowly, uh, it's not up to speed. So our psychology, which is supposed to protect us, actually are not working, functioning well in today's world. And that's something that I, I think I, I start learning uh, from you know others, that if we're not careful, Natural psychology will put us into the uh, worse uh, life's choice, right? We have choices. This is not uh, theory or anything. We all have choices and we are making the choices every single second. And if we're not careful, our natural psychology which is supposed to protect us, are trying to protect us, but unfortunately, putting us into the to the uh, uh, worst choice than you could actually ever make. So it's about investment. It's about you know being aware of what we were doing every day today and into the future so that we can make the best ever choice best choice ever that we have today and that's so big to choose one thing or others because that could change the entire path of the uh direction of the you know the course of the life and at the end of the day by making one choice over other, you might end up completely different places or happy places that you are actually to be course right now. So every single moment, making right choice or maybe the right is the wrong word, but making the choice for yourself it's super important. The other thing is we oftentimes, because of this society, how society teach us, uh, we oftentimes neglect ourselves, right? Because it's super important to take care of others, concerned about others, help others. Yes, that is 100% true. 
but if you can't take care of yourself first you know i think it's best analogy is the airplane like when in an emergency you put a mask for yourself first otherwise your children or your family and you both die you try to take care of others first and you both die but if you take care of yourself first then you could help others and this is super important but oftentimes uh, our mind are already set because we are taught in that way that we try to sacrifice ourselves to help others or to 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 do things for others but you know what who actually knows what others truly want from you you never know because they are other persons so you only know for 100 percent sure of what you think or what you want and what others want and what other things really is a guessing game it's a gamble so to speak and how could you actually put yourself off and act and do things for others based on your imagination of what other wants and sometimes and i've been there uh, and this is something that I've realized that is so wrong because if I want to help others, I got to be strong. I got to take care of myself first. I got to be healthy. I got to be, be sufficient and I got to be happy by myself so that I could make others happy and help others, right? If you want to really help somebody, you got to be financially strong to be able to help others. So the investment to yourself is super important. Take care of yourself is super important. You know, be aware of who you are and how your psychology, your mind is basically trying to take care of you basically. Um, but in other words, taking control of you and you gotta be aware of that so that you can make the right choice today, tomorrow, every single moment, we are making decision and we are making choices. In order to make right choices, we gotta have a variety of perspective from to from 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 to choose. Right? We can choose the perspective each moment, the best perspective, so that we're not gonna be negatively affected by, by our natural psych psychology, so to speak. So yeah, um, I try to invest my to myself, no matter what, because my life is one time, you, you know? Like, even some people believe in reincarnation or your soul is carried to another life, but that doesn't mean you're gonna have another chance. You only have one chance. Even those beliefs are true, that doesn't mean you're gonna have another chance. You're gonna be, your soul is gonna live with another person's body, another person's mind, and uh, you know, you have only one chance and you never know how long you have left. So, which means you never know how young you are. Remember, my grandma could be younger than I am, who knows? So, and we gotta maintain health, right? I mean, I want to tell my grandma, my grandma should maintain her house as best as possible because she might have 10 more years. And if, if she's not healthy, what's the point? If I have one more day, but if I am healthy, I can enjoy and I can make the uh, maximize my one last day, right? So the investment and I try to actually, you know, go out every month, every month, I try to go out somewhere else so that I can experience something new 
and I can have a fresh, refresh my mind and be creative, be creative of my life and, you know, try to be in a better position tomorrow than today uh, to be happier. Because if you're happy, what's the point of this, you know, living in this life? Um, yep, yeah, life is investment.